In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to perform the mouse actions using Playwright tool. So let's navigate to the web browser and let's look at the scenario. So we will navigate to the google.com and here I will search with tester stock and I will take the some part of the URL. So I will take this part of the URL. So we will enter this particular URL and we will do firstly just normal click double click and right click from the mouse middle button click from the mouse and left button click from the mouse and also we will see how to hover the mouse on the elements also so if i hover my mouse here on the wise so it is displaying the some text search by wise so if i hover on the image so it is saying search by image like that so at the end we will see how to hover the mouse on the particular element so now i will navigate to the vs code and we will use this particular url and here i'm creating one simple spec file under the tests folder so here will say mouse actions dot spec dot js file so that's it I will go to the first test dot spec file and here I will copy this test and I will keep only the skeleton of playwright test and here I will modify the test name as mouse actions in playwright that's it guys so let's enter the URL here first so I will go to the browser and I will take the URL and then I'll come back to the VS code now so here I have entered the URL so let's do the very normal click and double click so these are the generic clicks what we will do so here will say just click and then we have a double click so we'll see one by one how to do all these and here I'll say mouse right click and in the similar way we have the mouse middle button click and then we will perform the left button click from the mouse and at the end we are performing the mouse hover so these are the things we will be doing it in couple of minutes so that's it guys now so let's perform a perform a normal click so here i will go to the page so let's identify this particular tester stock link by using the get role so here i will go to the vs code so here i will use await keyword followed by page dot and here i'll say get by role so here i will mention as a link by using the link text we are going to identify the element then i will pass the object and inside the object i will pass the value as tester stock that's it guys now so there might be n number of n number of matches to the our link text so that's the reason so if you look at this particular search results so there can be a number of matches so that's the reason here i'm calling one function called first so this will focus on the only very first element then i will say the regular click method that's it guys so i will put some weight so that we can see the execution at the end of the test so here will say wait for timeout so here i'll add some seconds so that's it guys now let's verify whether we are able to perform the normal click so i will run the test now So it is launching the browser and it is entering the URL and it should click on the tester stock and it is navigating to the tester stock channel. And if you see it, so our test is perfectly working fine. So this is how you can perform the our regular click or the normal click. So I will take the same locator and we will see how to perform the double click on any element using 
playwright. So previously we have called click function. Now we have to call the db dbl click. So that's it guys. So that means a double click. So now we are double clicking on this particular test tester stock link. So here I will run the test once again. So DBL click is nothing but the double click. So if you see here, it is navigating to the YouTube channel and finally it is closing the browser. So this is how you can perform the double click. Now let's see how to perform the mouse right click. So we will take the same element. So basically I'll take the same element here and then if I go to the web browser, so simply we will right click on this particular link like this, right? So I will go back here and so here I'm calling one method called click. So inside the click method, so here I'm passing as button. So instead, so we have to pass the object guys, not directly button, we can pass it. So inside the object, we can pass the button colon then here we can pass the values inside this so firstly let's perform the right click from the mouse so simply you need to pass the right and this is going to right click on the element by using the mouse so let's run the test now and if you see here so it has performed a right click on the web page element and then it is closing the browser and if you see here so our test is getting passed right now let, let's take the same line of code and simply we have to pass the different value to the click method so firstly we have clicked on the element that means we have performed a right click on the element now this time we are going to perform the middle click so here i'll pass as middle that's it guys so i will go to the web browser and if I do the middle click, middle click on the web page element, so this is going to open the next tab like this, right? So let's verify this whether it is properly performing the action or not. So let's run the test now. So we are performing the middle click and if you see here, it has opened the another tab so it has opened that particular particular link in the second tab so that's it guys and if you see here our test is perfectly working fine so this is how we can perform the middle button click from the mouse now this time we will perform the left button click from the mouse so simply here we have to pass the different value so here we have to pass the left as the value to the button so that means we are passing the object to the click method so that's it guys now i will run the test and this time it will perform the left button click from the mouse so it is basically it navigates to the channel so that's how it is and that's it guys and if you see here so our test our test is getting passed now let's see the final one how to hover on the any web page element let's say for example i want to mouse hover on any of these elements right so let's inspect this particular element and we will do the mouse hover on the element so i'm inspecting search by wise so if you see here so we have the div tag and under that we have the area label equal to search by wise so simply i will take this particular attribute and value and i'll paste it here that's it guys and we are able to identify the element by using the CSS selector. That's attribute equal to value. Simply I will take this CSS selector and I'll come down here. So here I'm using await keyword. So we are going to identify the element now. So I will use the page dot locator. And here we have to pass the locator value, whatever we have identified it. 
So that's it guys. So we have identified the element. Now I'm calling one method called whoever. So this function does the mouse hover on the web page element. So that's it guys. So if you see here, so whenever you open the page normally, so this particular text will be not displayed only if you hover on the page element, then it will display the text as search by voice, right? Now let's run the test and see the results. And if you see here guys, so it has performed the action because I have used my mouse, just I was rolling my mouse. So that's the reason that text got disappeared. So let's run the same test once again. I will not do anything this time. And you will be seeing the text as search by voice. If you see that search by voice is displayed. So this is how you can perform the mouse hover on any element using the playwright.